Hey, Shalom Israel, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all honors and praises to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, or Kakadash. I want to give double honors to the Elder Apostle Great Millstone for bringing out 100% truth and keeping it real. Salutations to the 144 hopeful elect of Israel who's pushing this word in all truth and sincerity. And the one third of Israel who believe in the word and follow the land where we go. Shalom, brothers and sisters. Shalom. Yeah, we're going to, um, you know, all praise to you. How about Shema Shai? Bringing out this word of truth. This, this, this epistle may be called something like, um, All ye had, all ye, oh, so lucky. All you had to do was repent. You know, the warning has been going out to the so called Negro, Hispanic, and American Indians. All you had to do was repent, man. Um, because times, you know, these we're, we're living in the last days. Yeah, how about Shemashah is about to come back and it's going to destroy this world. And as we're going to bring it out in this epistle, you know, whoever has not returned to Yahweh by Shemashah is going to get it. Okay? Because we've been lied to, and this word has been preached on the four corners of the earth, telling the so called Negro, Hispanic, and Native American Indians that we have been lied to up in these lying ass churches when they had us worshiping a false god and a false idol, so called named JC, you know, talking about preaching all this love, love, love stuff. But we've learned that this is not the case. This is not the words of the, of the scriptures, bro. Okay, so we've been bringing it out to the best of our abilities with the spirit that the Lord has given us to come out here and proclaim these words of truth to the children of Israel, you know, and, and condemn this wicked world and let Esau Edom know that this is the end of their kingdom, right? So uh, we're going to use these uh, guys once again as a springboard, you know, to, uh, to bring out this word here. Um, this epistle here is from GMS Vegas Sit Down. Vegas sit down you see it right there it's called bug, bug, bugged out the day of the Lord is any day of the week according to these reprobates right and you know we did an epistle about these yesterday a lot of brothers have been going in on these on these false prophets and that's the spirit of the Lord you how about you shy so we can bring out this word of truth you know and condemn their asses for, for all this folly and madness okay uh, and these damnable heresies that they're bringing out. So we're going to listen to a little bit of what they're saying here and get right into the epistle. We have a few uh, videos, you know, to bring out of uh, dreams of the day of the Lord. Uh, and we're just going to bring it out. Lord willing, it's going to be edifying, you know, short, straight to the point. Okay, we're going to turn the music down a little bit here and get right into it. Okay, and you heard what they say, so we're gonna get right into it, and you know we're gonna put the the uh, the the brothers' epistles Vegas sit down in the description box, uh, and as you see, they're saying that the day of the Lord, you know, is different for everybody. Now we understand, uh, you know, coming back to the hundred percent truth. This is the book of Zephaniah chapter three verse five. The just Lord is in the midst thereof; he will not do iniquity. Every morning doth he bring his judgment to light. He faileth not, but the unjust knoweth no shame. You know, the unjust, they, they, they don't fear you. How about Shemashah? They're going on about their normal day, their normal routine, doing all their wickedness. And they don't think, you know, you know but the scriptures say, you know, Lord, how about Shemashah is not mocked. For whatever a man soweth, that shall he also reap, you know. Sin equals death, right? So in these last days, we're coming back 
begging Yahweh Hashem Hashem for mercy, doing the things that are pleasing to Yahweh Hashem Hashem to the best of our abilities, you know, asking the Lord to allow us to endure until the end, you know. Uh, so these guys here, once again, they're saying that the day of the Lord is different for everybody, but that's that's not true. Every day, Yahweh Hashem Hashem does bring judgment. A lot of people die all the time here and there. They're being judged, right? Uh, as the scripture proclaimed, uh, uh, tell, tell, tell me, I pray to you, let's go get that scripture. Whoever perished being born innocent. You know, roughly paraphrasing. Yeah, the book of Job, chapter 4, verse 7. Remember, I pray thee, whoever perished being innocent. Or where were the righteous cut off? Right. So when you see little babies getting it, that's because in their in their past life, you know, or, or somebody being born with a, 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 a no arms or no legs, in their past life, you know, this is their judgment. Because we understand when you die, your spirit goes right back up to your Habashi Mashah. You get judged and you come back down to live out your judgment here on earth. Okay? So when you get judged again, you know, when, you know, hey, it's time for that for that for that death to come down on your ass that's you you know the lord is not mocked for whatever or whatever man soweth that shall he also reap right so but then now we're talking about the day of the lord so let's get into this epistle we're talking about when the lord is going to come back and judge the earth you know unlike these damn crazy damn dingers with their damn wicked ass doctrines bro but that's okay. It's just part of the story. All praises to Yahweh Hashem Hashem to give us the understanding to, to understand and know, you know, the difference. I want to get this book right. This is uh, in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 9. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of Yahweh Hashem Hashem? Right. So coming back to that, we're trying to avoid that second death. You know, we're, we're trying to avoid being left here, you know. In this lake of fire, Babylon the Great, aka America, when those nuclear m missiles gonna be shot over here. Let's get this. I got this thing right here set up. We're gonna play this in the background. You know, this. We're gonna play this Foot Locker Week of Greatness, you know, in the background. And it look, it look, it depicts like the day of the Lord. Like it's gonna be a lot of confusion, a lot of death. The chariot's gonna come back. The Lord's gonna be sh blowing up people. The, the missiles gonna be shooting over here at the same time. You know, people are going to, it's the day of the Lord. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of Yahweh Hashem Hashem? Be not deceived, neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate, nor abusers of themselves with mankind, nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor revelers, nor extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of Yahweh Hashem Hashem, bro. Okay? That's why this, the title of this epistle is that all you had to do was repent, man. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of Yahweh Shemasha? Be not deceived. Neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate, nor abusers of themselves with mankind, nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor revelers, nor extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of Yahweh Shemasha. Right, man, this is the 100% truth of the scripture right here. This ain't that, that Christianity bullshit when they're telling you all you got to do is say you love Jesus. Hell to the no. This is an action. How about Shema Shah said, be doers of the word and not hearers only. You must be converted in your own mind. You know, as the strip proclaimed, repent everyone and receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Understand, believe, hope, trust in Yahweh about Shema Shah. Okay? Turn from your wicked ways. Okay? This is the book of Proverbs chapter 6, verse 16. These six things does the Lord Yahweh about Shema Shah hate. Yea, seven are an abomination unto him. A proud look, a lying tongue. Oh, so lucky the, the uh, screen done, done did something. Hold on, bro. We're going to go back to that week of greatness. Let me see here. There. Okay. This is the book of Proverbs chapter 6, verse 16. These six things does the Lord, Yahweh Shema Shah, hate. Yea, seven are an abomination unto him. A proud look, a lying tongue, and hands that shed innocent blood, a heart that devises wickedness, wicked imaginations, feet that be swift and run into mischief, a false witness that speak lies, and he that soweth discord among brethren. Okay? So, in these last days, man, we understand, you know, this is a... You know, this is uh, the epitome of Esau right here. 
And what the scripture speaks of? Year of your father the devil, right? So these children of Israel out here are, are wandering after the beast. They're fallen in, in the ways of, of Satan, right? But this 100% this truth calls you to return to Yahweh Shemasha. Calls you to put off that old man. Calls you to change your wicked ways. To believe in this word of truth. Yahweh Shemasha has given us law, statutes, commandments. You know, to follow, to abide by. Okay? Not these other nations. You are a holy nation. A, a royal priesthood. You know? A peculiar people. That ye should show forth the praises of him who have called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. That was roughly parap paraphrasing uh, 1 Peter 2 and 9, bro. In these last days. You know? Let's go to the book of Proverbs chapter 12 verse 26. The righteous is more excellent than his neighbor, but the way of the wicked seduces him, my man. Okay? Once again, we are in the we're in the hands of our enemies. We're in Babylon the Great, aka America. You know the earth, Job chapter 9 verse 24, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. When we wake up to this 100% truth and we begin to Watch the videos of the Elder Apostle Great Millstone and all the other brothers on down there, Umbrella, bro. We repent with our whole heart. Come back to Yahweh Hashem Hashem. We see how wicked and nasty and filthy this world is. We begin to understand what's right and what's wrong, bro. And then we, we come back to Yahweh Hashem Hashem. Okay, let's get, let's get a little deeper into the, into the epistle. I want to get, get one thing. We're going to bring out a little quick video real quick, okay? Let's go to the book of Amos to stay on the topic. Of what them what them reprobates is talking about. Amos chapter five verse eight. So lucky. Amos chapter five verse eighteen, brothers and sisters. So lucky. Woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord, Yahweh Shemashai. To what end is it for you? The day of the Lord is darkness and not light he mentioned this you know he mentioned this which is uh that's how messed up he is in the head bug he's bugged out bro he mentioned that he talking about the day of the lord right but he's trying to say that this is it's a special you know it's special for everybody no you see them chariots up there you see those missiles shooting because the day of the lord we're going to be asking you know we're going to be begging how about shema shai to uh to deliver us out of this out of out of this situation man when all this all this chaos and this hell's going on the the nuclear war has been shot over here in babylon the great you know that's why the chariots gonna be saying hey come up here come up here to the destruction be overpassed this is the book of amos chapter 5 verse 18 woe unto you that desire the day of the lord how about shimashai to what end is it for you the day of the lord is darkness and not light that's why we're coming back begging the Lord right now for mercy bro not when it's when not when this shit is hitting the fan okay because that's not faith faith is something that's not seen so we're believing in it now Woe to you that desire the day of the Lord to what end is it for you the day of the Lord is darkness and not light okay now we're gonna go get these little quick short videos um, of these Oh, I want to. I want to get one more scripture before we go. Let's go to the book of Joel, chapter two, verse twenty-eight. Joel, chapter two, verse twenty-eight. And it shall come to pass. And it shall come to pass afterwards that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, and your old men shall dream dreams, and your young men shall see visions. Okay, let's go get this. Let's, let's go get one of these videos from these these uh, young women here. Uh, Blessings, you guys. This is um, India, and um. I'm doing this out of obedience. I'm doing this out of obedience. And I just want to share this. First, Heavenly Father, forgive all my sins, Lord. Wash me in your blood, Jesus, your holy blood. Father, forgive me for the sins that I'm aware of. Forgive me for the sins that I'm not aware of, Lord Jesus. I humble myself, Father. You see, she keeps calling on the, on the false god and a false idol. Holy Spirit, you speak through me. 
That's like most of our people are lost. Know me, Father. In Jesus' name. So I've never they were not hearkening to the voice I'm of the Lord. Let you know that this is my first dream. This is my first dream. So I wrote it down and, and I felt led to share. So I was walking down the street, regular, like in, in my town where I live, and I'm just walking down the street. And I go, and I and, and I, there was people outside, and I feel I, I feel I see like a chaos, and I'm like, what's going on? So I go and I look, I look to the left, and I see something descending from the sky, and like the first thing I thought, I was like, oh my God, that's gotta be that's the deception, that's gotta be this government like with the aliens and stuff doing a deception. But as I go, and I, and it comes closer, I see him, you guys. When I tell you that I see Jesus, I see him, but he's not like what we think he looks like. He didn't look like that. He doesn't have blonde hair and long hair and all that. That's not how he came. He came down and he was descending like it was like in a cloud, but he was on a horse and he was with somebody else and he was with something else. I don't know who he was with. I wasn't, I didn't see, I wasn't allowed to see that, but I know that he didn't come down by himself and he had short hair, not like, not like a fade or anything, but it was like a short hair and he was like my complexion. He was like, like dark skin and he had a crown on his head and he wasn't smiling. You guys, he was not smiling and he was just, he didn't look at me or anything but I saw him and he was coming down and as he was coming down landing on the ground I looked to the right hand side and I seen in the heavens I seen the kingdom of heaven I seen like a city in the clouds and it's like you know when you have like a mist in, in the clouds and it comes like clearer and clearer I saw like a city and I was like and I hear people saying the Messiah the Messiah and I'm like oh my god it's Jesus I'm like oh my god it's Jesus and he came down so I go and I start running I start running because I'm looking for my husband I'm looking for my husband and as I keep running I see on the, on the right side and the left side it was these demons coming from the dirt and they looked like gargoyles but they were like made out of stone and they were just grabbing people and I just kept running and I kept running looking for my husband I remember in my head I'm like he has to know he has to know that Jesus came like he has to know and I just kept running I've never experienced anything like this, you guys. And Lord knows I'm humbling myself, Father. I humble myself, Lord. I don't know what it is that he's doing, but I just, I feel like I have to say it. I have to speak about it. I can say that I saw Jesus. I saw Jesus and I saw his face and the crown on his head and he came down to the ground in the cloud. Okay, we're going to leave it right there, bro. Uh, yeah, man. So once again, the title of this epistle, all you had to do was repent. Okay? So when these calamities start to happen to you, bro, you know, you so-called Negro, Hispanic, and Native American Indians, you remember, you know. How about Shemashah said he will laugh at your calamity. when you, He will mock when your fear cometh, okay? Let's go to the book of 1 Kings, chapter 8, verse 47. Yet, if they shall bethink themselves in the land whether they were carried captives and repent and make supplications unto thee in the land of them that carried them captives, saying, We have sinned, we have done perversely, we have committed wickedness, and so return unto thee with all thine heart, with all thine heart, bro. Okay, and with all thine soul in the land of their enemies, which led them away captives, and pray unto thee toward their land, which thou gavest unto their fathers, the city which thou hast chosen, and the house which I have built by my name, by thy name. Then hear thou their prayer and their supplications in the heaven, thy dwelling place, and maintain their cause, bro. See, because there's a certain way. You approach the throne of Yahweh Shemashah, bro. This word of truth, this this grace is 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 presented 
to the children of Israel, the 144 hopeful elect and one third of Israel, telling y'all to return to Yahweh Hashem at this time, man, with your whole heart. You know, you got a lot of Israel, Israelites out here waking up, but they still got one foot in the world. They're still trying to lean in their own understanding. They're trying to do things their own way. They're still being stiff-necked. They won't humble themselves under the mighty hand of Yahweh Hashem Hashai. Coming back, you know, what does scripture say? Return unto thee with all thy, their heart and with all their soul in the land of their enemy. Right. That's, the Lord has already given us straight commandments what we should do to avoid punishment. No, but y'all still want to get 501c3s. You still want to preach false doctrines. You don't want to come together, get it together with, by the word of truth. You know, get in order. Humble yourselves, you know, under the teachers and the, and the preachers that Yahweh Hashem HaShah sent forth to bring up this 100% truth, man. The Lord know who you are. You're not going to get away. Let's go to the book of Psalms. No. All you had to do was repent, bro. Let's go to the book of Psalms, chapter 34, verse 18. And we're praying, you know, we're saying this humbly. We're praying, hoping to be a part of that number ourselves, bro. You know, there's uh, that's why these these words are here. Yahweh Shem Hashem said, I'll be with you to the end. We, we know we're not nothing but some damn filthy rags ourselves. We, you know, uh, what does the scripture say? A just man falleth down seven times, but he get back up, bro. This ain't no Christianity bullshit. No, we really trying over here, bro, to serve you. How about you, my shy? You know, and to do things correctly in the eyes of the Lord, man. You have to constantly think about the scriptures. Uh, what did Paul say? You know, the the things. You know, the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. We understand we're in this weak flesh, but we try to the best of our abilities, man, to do the things that please you. How about you, those, those things we, we read in the verse, book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 6, verse 9, we might have to run, re reiterate that. You know? Because you have about Shema this is the time to be conformed to the image of the Son, man. Put off that weak nature. Don't be such a nigger. You know? The meek shall inherit the earth, right? This is the book of Psalms, chapter 34, verse 18. The Lord, you have about Shema is nine to them that are of a broken heart and save as such. As be of a contrite spirit, bro. Yeah, man. You think, you know, examine yourself. Whether you be in the faith. Prove your own self, bro. That's what time we're living in. Understanding what's right and wrong. And do good, bro. This is the book of, let's go to the book of Jeremiah. I'm about to get another, uh, I got another short video real quick. We're going to get in a second. Jeremiah chapter 7 verse 1. The word of the, of the, the word that came to Jeremiah from Yahweh Shema Shah saying, Stand in the gates of the Lord's house and proclaim there this word, and say, Hear the word of the Yahweh Shema Shah, all ye of Judah, and enter in at the ga these gates to worship the Lord, Yahweh Shema Shah. Thus said the Lord, Yahweh Shema Shah, the Lord of hosts, the Lord of armies, the God of Israel, and none else. You know, speaking about the book of. Uh, Joel chapter 2 verse 27 I'm the God of Israel and none else Thus said the Lord of hosts Back at uh, Jeremiah chapter 7 verse 3 Thus said the Lord of hosts The God of Israel Amend your ways and your doings And I will cause you to dwell in this place Trust ye not in lying words Saying the temple of the Lord The temple of the Lord The temple of Yahweh Shemashah are these For if ye Thoroughly amend your ways and your doings, if ye thoroughly execute judgment between a man and his neighbor, if ye oppress not the stranger, the fatherless, and the widow, and shed not innocent blood in this place, neither walk after other gods to your hurt, then will I cause you to dwell in this place, in the land that I gave to your fathers forever and ever. Behold, ye trust in lying words that cannot profit. Will ye still murder and commit adultery and swear falsely and burn incense into Baal and walk after other gods whom ye know not and come and stand before me in this house which is called by my name and say we are delivered to do all these abominations? Is this house which is called, called by my name become a den of robbers in your eyes? Behold, even I have seen it, said Yahweh Shemashai. 
But go ye now into this into my place, which was in Shiloh, Shiloh, where I set my name at the first, and see what I did to it, for the wickedness of my people Israel. And now, because ye have done all these works, said Yahabashim Shai. And I spoke unto you, rising up early and speaking, but ye heard not. And I called you, but ye answered not. Therefore will I do unto this house, which is called by my name, wherein ye trust, and unto this place which I gave to you and your fathers, as I have done to Shiloh, and will cast you out of my sight, as if as I have cast out all your brethren, even the whole seed of Ephraim. Therefore pray not for this people, neither lift up a cry, nor prayer for them, neither make intercession to me, for I will not hear thee, seeing that thou, seeing thou not what they do in the cities of Judah and in the streets of Jerusalem, the children gather wood and the fathers kindle the fire and the women kneel their dough to make cakes to the queen of heaven and to pour out drink offerings unto other gods that they may provoke me to anger. Do they provoke me to anger? Said Yahabashim Ashai. Do they not provoke themselves to the confusion of their own face? Therefore, thus said the Lord Yahabashim Ashai, Behold, mine anger and my fury shall be poured out upon this place, upon man, upon beast, upon the trees of the field, and upon the fruits of the ground, and it shall burn and shall not be quenched. Thus said the Lord of hosts, Yahabashim Ashai, the God of Israel, Put your burnt offerings unto your sacrifices and eat flesh. For I spoke not unto your fathers, nor commanded them in the day that I brought them out of the land of Egypt concerning burnt offerings or sacrifices. But this thing I commanded them, saying, Obey my voice, and I will be your God, and ye shall be my people, and walk in all the ways that I have commanded you, that it may be well unto you. But they hearkened not, nor incline their ear, but walked in the counsel of their the imagination of their evil heart, and went backwards and not forward. Since the day of your fathers came forth of the land of Egypt unto this day, I have sent unto you all my servants the prophets daily, rising up early and sending them. Yet they hearkened not unto me, nor inclined their ear, but hardened their neck. They did worse than their fathers. Therefore thou shalt speak all these words unto them, but they will not hearken to thee. Thou shalt also call unto them, but they will not answer thee. You know, we're going to leave it right there, bro. Because all you had to do was repent. Let's go get this other little short, little short video here. I'm going to read it, what she's saying. She's saying, don't stay. He's coming fast. Don't stay. He's coming fast. He's coming. He's coming. He's coming. He's coming for his people. He's coming to take his people. He's coming. He's coming. He's coming. Okay, you're gonna leave it right there, bro. So I'm gonna, Lord willing, I'll be able to put these in the description box, okay? Yeah, so this little girl had a dream too. It says, This young girl received a vision of the return of Yahweh Shai and started crying and saying, He's coming, he's coming. Uh oh, what happened? Hold on. This thing, now this thing, act like it don't want me to go back. That's alright. Uh, come on, y'all. We're going to go ahead and wrap up the epistle here. I'm going to put on the Week of Greatness in the background again. Let's go to the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 14, verse 2.
for thou art holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God has chosen thee to be a peculiar people unto himself above all the nations that are upon the face of the earth. Amen. The Lord has chosen us to be his special and holy people. You know, we are yet this day in our captivity, but the Lord is going to come and redeem us. All you have to do is repent. Let's go to the book of John chapter 3, verse 19. And this is the command, and this is Salaki. And this is the condemnation that light is come into the world. And men love darkness rather than light, because their deeds were evil. For everyone that doeth evil hateth the light. Neither cometh to the light, lest his deeds should be reproved. But he that doeth truth cometh to the light, that his deeds may be made manifest, that they are wroth in Yahweh Shemashah. Right, and that reminds me of that scripture. In the book of Revelation, chapter 20, 22, verse 11. He that is unjust, let him be unjust still. And he which is filthy, let him be filthy still. And he that is righteous, let him be righteous still. And he that is holy, let him be holy still. Yep, going back to, uh, you know, uh, predestination, bro. The 144 hopeful elect and 130 of Israel. You know, Yahweh Shemashah Shai has ordained them. To be conformed to the image of his son, Yahweh Shai. To turn away from all this wickedness of this world, man. Let's go, let's go get that one more time, man. In the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 9. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of Yahweh Shemasha? Be not deceived. Neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate, nor abusers of themselves with mankind, nor thieves, nor covetous. Nor drunkards, nor revelers, nor extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of Yahweh Shemashah, bro. You know? This truth is out here telling y'all what time it is, bro. Warning the children of Israel. What does it say? All you had to do was repent, bro. All you had to do was come humbly to Yahweh Shemashah. Beg Yahweh Shemashah for mercy. It's the book of Hosea chapter 6 verse 1. Come, let us return unto Yahweh Shemashah. For he have torn and he will heal us. He have smitten and he will bind us up. After two days will he revive us. And in the third day he will rise us up. And we shall live in his sight. Doing the will of Yahweh Shemashah to the best of our abilities, bro. With the spirit that the Lord has given us. You know, believing in his word. Being the Lord's holy people. Waiting on the Lord to come back and deliver us out of the hands of our enemies. This is the book of Luke chapter 15 verse 11. And he said, A certain man had two sons, and the younger of them said to his father, Father, give me the portion of the goods that fell to me. And he divided unto them his living. And not many days after the younger son gathered all together and took his journey into a far country. And there was his substance with righteous, and there and there wasted his substance with riotous living. And when he had spent all, there arose a mighty famine in that land, and he began to be in want. And he went and joined himself to a citizen of that country, and he sent him into his field to feed swine. And he would fain have filled his belly with the husk that the swine did eat, and no man gave unto him. And so he was really poor, man. He was really down and out, you know, almost like, like a bum on the street. And when he came to himself, he said, How many hired servants of my father's have bread enough to spare, and I perish with hunger? I will arise and go to my father and will say unto him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and before thee. I am no more worthy to be called thy son. Make me as one of thy hired servants. And he arose and came to his father. But when he was yet a great way off, his father saw him and had compassion and ran and fell, at his, fell on his neck and kissed him. And the son said unto him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and in thy sight and am no more worthy to be called thy son. But the father said to his servant, Bring forth the best robe and put it on him and put a ring on his hand. And shoes on his feet, and bring it hither the fatted calf, and kill it, and let us eat and be merry. For my son, for this my son is dead, and is alive again. 
he was lost and is found. And they began to be merry. Now his elder son was in the field, and as he came and drew nigh to the house, he heard music and dancing. And he called one of his servants and asked what these things meant. And he said unto him, Thy brother is come, and thy father have killed a fatty calf because he had received him safe and sound. And he was angry and would not go in. Therefore came his father out and entreated him. And he answered, said, and he answered, said to his father, Lo, these many years do I serve thee, neither transgress I at time thy commandment. And yet thou never gavest me a kid, that I might make merry with my friends. But as soon as this thy son was come, which hath devoured thy living with harlots, thou hast killed for him the fatted calf, and said unto his and said unto him, Son, thou art ever with me, and all that I have is thine. It was meet that we should make merry and be glad, for this thy brother was dead and is, is alive again, and was lost and is found, bro. So you know the gates of mercy are open, brothers and sisters, you so called Negro, Hispanic, and Native American Indians, man. The creator of all things is calling us back. You know, telling us to return. To return, man. Humble ourselves and understand. You know, hey. As the strip proclaims, you know, the Lord. He, you know, he didn't, he didn't give us in the hands of our enemies for our destruction, man. No. We're supposed to be obedient to his word. He told us, hey, if you, you know, if you do all these things, I'm going to set you up high above all these nations. You know. We're supposed to be done learn right and wrong and want to do good, bro. Coming back with that contrite heart. Understanding that we're in this sinful flesh and we need Yahweh We need him to heal us. You know, we need. This is not this is not life. This um this wicked way that this these damn devils, you know, these wicked rulers. This is not this is not the way it should be, bro. As the strip proclaims, when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked bear ruled, the people mourn. I had to hold myself back yesterday. Some lady asked me something about, do I pay child support? You know? And I was like, you know what? Because, you know, understanding what's right and what's wrong. That this world, I said, this world promotes, damn, the separation of fucking households, man. I said, this is a wicked ass place. You know? With usury. This place is wicked, man. I had to hold back, bro. This place is wicked. They 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 promote separating the household. There's there's you know you, of course you know you you take care of your your household. You take care of your kids, and you and your wife you work shit out. You know unless there's adultery involved, then you kick that motherfucker to the damn curb, bro. Hell, but everything else you can work it out shouldn't come in between a man and a woman these are just the ways of the devil in this wicked ass world but the Lord is gonna come back and put everything right side up okay and this is that time for us to return to you how about Shema Shah bro and this warning is out to the children of Israel telling y'all to return let's go to the book of uh, Isaiah chapter 1 verse 3 the ox knows its owner, and the ass his master's crib. But Israel does not know, my people does not consider. Ah, sinful nation, a people laden with iniquity, which is sin upon sin upon sin. A seed of evildoers, children that are corruptors. They have forsaken the Lord, Yahweh Shemashai. They have provoked the Holy One of Israel into anger. They have gone away backwards. Why should you be stricken any more? You will, you will revolt more and more. The whole head is sick and the whole heart faint. From the sole of the foot even unto the head there is no soundness in it, but wounds and bruises and petrified sores. They have not been closed, neither bound up, nor mortified with ornament. Your country is desolate. Your cities are burned with fire. Your land strangers devour it in your presence and it is desolate, as overthrown by strangers. You know? And the daughter of Zion is left as a cottage in the vineyard, 
as a lodge in the garden of cucumbers as a besieged city. Isaiah chapter 1 verse 9, except the Lord of hosts, Yehobashim HaShah, have left us a very small remnant, we should have been as Sodom and we should have been like unto Gomorrah, bro. So this is a call out to the 144 hopeful elect out there and one third of Israel that can hear these words and believe them, repent and be healed. I'm going to start to wrap it up and close it up, bro. Let's go to the book of Isaiah chapter 66. Going back to the day of the Lord. Isaiah chapter 66. Verse 16. For by fire and by his sword with the Lord, Yahweh shall plead with all flesh, and the slain of the Lord shall be many. Okay? The slain of the Lord will be many, bro, in the day of the Lord. When the Lord returns, crack those clouds. This is the book of Amos again, chapter 5, verse 18. Woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord. To what end is it for you? The day of the Lord is darkness and not light. Okay? There's going to be a lot, of, a lot of killing going on, bro. It's about to get worse. Things are about to get tougher out here. We're going to the, to the beginning of, you know, the sorrows. You know? It's time of great tribulations to the time of Jacob's trouble. But you have about Shema Shah say, he shall be saved out of it. The ones that have repented to the one true living God, the ones that have seeking his face, the ones who believe in his word, the ones that's begging for mercy now. We're going to end it with the book of 2 Chronicles. Chapter 15. Verse 13. That whosoever would not seek the Lord God, Yahweh Shemashah, the Lord God of Israel, should be put to death, whether small or great, whether man or woman. Okay? And that's what's about to happen, man. What? The book of Luke? Come on, man. We gotta go get the book of Luke. Chapter 13. Verse 2. And Yahweh Shemashah answered and said unto them, Suppose ye that these Galileans were sinners above all the Galileans because they suffered such things? I tell you nay, but except ye repent, ye shall all likewise perish, bro. Just like that. And we're not talking about doing things your own way. Yahweh Shemasha, you know, is not an author of confusion. So, hey, repent with your whole heart. Learn the names of the Lord, Yahweh Shemasha. Start watching the videos of the Elders Apostle Great Millstone. You know, beg the Lord for mercy. Ask him to open up your eyes so he can see and believe and understand this truth. You know, and... Uh, Walk in the ways of Yahweh Bashim Asha to the best of your abilities. So with that, hopefully this was edifying and exhorting. I want to give all honors and praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rekakadash. I want to give double honors to the Elder Apostle Great Millstone for bringing out the 100% truth and keeping it real. Salutations to the 144 hopeful elect of Israel who's pushing this word in all truth and sincerity. And the one-third of Israel who believe in the word and follow the Lamb wherever it goes. Shalom Israel. Shalom.